Hi, I'm Karmi Shammas, I'm your astrologer. Today I'll be talking about uh, Friday the 19th of May. Today the moon is in uh, Taurus. There's a new moon at 7 p.m. universal time in Taurus uh, at, uh, let me see, at uh, 7 p.m., at 4 p.m. universal time, the new moon, and at 7 p.m. universal time, the moon moves from Taurus to uh, Gemini. So uh, it should be a beautiful day if you're Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Okay. Uh, if you're watching me from the Americas in the uh, afternoon, uh, the uh, the whole uh, vibe will change to be more um, favorable if you're an air sign. Okay. Because the moon moves to Gemini. Okay. Let's break it down for uh, all signs. Aries. Um, it's a very nice day with the moon in Taurus, with the moon in Gemini, with the sun moving on Sunday to Gemini. Everything looks beautiful and gorgeous. I think uh, uh, Aries can do a lot. You can prove yourself if you uh, think that you need or want to prove yourself, but you need not, you need do nothing actually because you're very powerful. You had all the power that you need and it's inside you. Look inside and you will find it. Moving to Taurus, it's a totally empowering day, very strong, very, very strong. It makes you a very, um, a very charismatic, a very outstanding personality. It's one of those super beautiful days, actually, not only in this month, not only in this week, not only in this month, in the whole uh, semester and the whole actually uh, one of the most beautiful days in the in the year actually if like if I want to pinpoint certain days today definitely is one of those beautiful days so go ahead Taurus and uh, amaze us you can super you can be super um, lucky if you were born between the 20th and the 22nd of April moving to Gemini it's a slow day things get a little bit better when the moon moves to Gemini your sign at um, at um, 7 p.m universal time okay okay so in the meantime try to be as uh, I will not say as calm as positive as possible but if you can be as um, as active uh, as possible when the moon is in a slow uh, sign that would be good meaning that if you have things to do do them but make sure that you're doing them uh, with care with attention you don't want to get confused or send uh, wrong information okay uh, double check on your belongings on all your bookings because things may go quite um differently in the wrong direction let's uh, move now to cancer cancer this is a nice day i like it while the moon is in uh, taurus but when the moon moves to gemini you start uh, moving in the direction of a slow period of time that will um, be very noticeable uh, on sun on mon on excuse me on saturday and totally totally uh, quiet uh, and um and uh, maybe it's appointing on Sunday. So make sure that if you have things to be done between Friday and Sunday, do them today before the moon moves to um, uh, to Gemini. Be extra careful if you were born on the 22nd of July. Uh, let's move now to Leo. Leo, it's fine with the moon, new moon in the 10th house. There are new things uh, going to show up in your life with uh, Jupiter over there. I think you can be totally rewarded. Uh, however, there can be some kind of grumpiness. Make sure that you don't let people feel that. You need to adapt with the situation. It gets a little bit easier and happier at 7 p.m. universal uh, time. Okay, so try to uh, be as patient as possible. Things will get better after then. Moving uh, to uh, Virgo, it's a beautiful, gorgeous day. Totally um, happy. I think you will love this day. This is a beautiful, gorgeous day. One of the happiest, one of the most, the easiest, one of the most welcoming, one of the most empowering. Uh, this whole day is perfect. Um, if I want to be more precise, I think it would be super, super perfect till 7 p.m. universal time. After that, it gets a little bit, a little bit different, you know. Um, Saturday also, Sunday will be completely different. So make the best of it. Enjoy. Let's move now to Libra. Libra, this is a nice busy day. I think you will enjoy what's happening around. I think you enjoy this day because it keeps you busy. You like to be busy probably with, with your hobbies, with things that you do. It's a Friday. Some of you are not working. Some is working. So 
uh, whatever it is, I think you will enjoy this beautiful day. It gets a lot better at 7 p.m. universal time and uh, Saturday and Sunday are going to be uh, quite gorgeous. Moving to Scorpio, try to keep your um, edginess, your moodiness aside because otherwise you will uh, get things going in the wrong direction. Uh, things may actually attract negative people today. Uh, with Jupiter around, maybe it can be avoided. In all cases, you need to do your part and stay away from trouble. Things may get a little bit easier around uh, 7 p.m., starting 7 p.m. universal time, but don't tempt it, okay? Let's move now to Sagittarius. It's a fine day. It's a long, long, busy day. Things need to be done accordingly. Don't uh, put yourself in the line of fire, meaning that if you have things to be done, uh, do them accordingly. At 7 p.m. universal time, the moon will move to opposition, meaning that some things may be, may be done, maybe, maybe may they're wrong and they start showing up. And uh, Saturday will uh, uh, will bring them up more and more, and Sunday can be worse. So uh, work accord accordingly and make sure that you don't leave traces. You don't create problems in all cases. You don't need that. Moving to Capricorn. Uh, Capricorn, this is one of the most beautiful days uh, in this uh, week and in this month. I think you can, you are totally capable of doing anything you want. Everything is quite magical. Things are beautiful with a new moon in the fourth house. You, in the fifth house, you are one of those most creative, most achieving, uh, people. So, um, don't think low of yourself think high of yourself this is a very empowering day with jupiter over there you're quite also empowered and you will feel the um the empowerment of jupiter uh, for almost a year uh, starting uh, may this may okay it will come and knock on your door will give you great uh news so in the meantime make do your homework because the universe is doing his his or her homework you only have to do your homework. Prepare so you can get the best of the results. You get a big result. If you prepare a little, you get little. If you prepare big, you get big, okay? Let's move now to Aquarius. Aquarius, this is a bumpy day at home or wherever you are. If you keep your negative ideas, negative thoughts aside, you can spend a calm day. Otherwise, you will get into a lot of commotion, a lot of problems. Um, lot of do and don't, lot of say and don't say, a uh, lot of excuses, lot of apologies. You don't want that. So Jupiter is helping you, but it's, uh, it's in your hand also. Okay. So try to uh, bring out the best of this new moon in your house, meaning that bringing out some great news or maybe brewing some good things there at home. Okay. Or inside you. Let's uh, move now to Pisces. Pisces, I love this day because it makes you actually bloom like a flower. It's a beautiful day, very active, I know, but it's actually it's it's uh, uh, um, switching on so many beautiful buttons, you know, that you have in your life, inside you, everywhere. So uh, don't be surprised that people are saying, "Okay, that's good, bravo, Pisces, you're doing this. This is good, good, good." Like if that. 12 uh, kids at home. Pisces is one of the one that will be uh, 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 actually uploaded by the parents, will get uh, the rewards, okay, at school also. So it's a beautiful, beautiful, uh, beautiful day. But watch it. Everything will start changing uh, starting 7 p.m. universal time. Let's wrap it up with born on the 19th of May. This should be a nice year with a new moon over there hovering all over the year, meaning that new things are definitely knocking on your door with Jupiter also knocking on your door during this year, probably around the end of this year that you're just starting. Uh, you will get the chance of your life. Uh, once every 12 years, uh, you get Jupiter knocking on your door. And this the, this year, probably you'll get that chance. Wishing you all the best. See you tomorrow. Enjoy. Bye-bye.